is Rehab Burger Therapy the best burger in Scottsdale, Arizona? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video. Today we are here, not in San Diego. We're actually in Scottsdale for Padres spring training. I just uh, came from the Dodgers Padres game. We are grabbing an early dinner here at Rehab Burger Therapy. Shout out to one of my top patrons, the NEV guy, for giving me this suggestion. But a lot of other people have said Rehab Burger Therapy is the best burger in all of Scottsdale. Now comment below. Let me know if this is the best burger in your opinion. And we're gonna check out all their unique burgers that they have. It's an hour wait, so we're gonna wait a little bit. I'm here with my Auden Clark and his fiance Pia, and we're gonna try three different burgers out. Another thing that's really cool is that parking on Coral is free. So you go to downtown Scottsdale and you don't gotta pay for parking over here. All right, Jaycationers, I'm here with my good friend Clark. What's up, Jaycationers? We just watched the Dodgers Padres game. It was a 4 4 tight game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Cool, cheers, man. It was a good time. Oh, shoot. Cheers. I don't drink that much, so excuse the yeah. water, please. So the first thing I'm reviewing here is uh, Four Peaks Brewery, and it's a local Thank Arizona you. beer. This is their hazy IPA that they have on draft. I actually had Four Peaks over at the stadium, and you'll see that in the uh, stadium video that we're doing of, that's about visiting SDNLA. So we're going to try out the Four Peaks hazy. It's not as hazy. It looks just like a regular IPA. But... Food. It's definitely got like this uh, stingy hoppiness to it like you would get in the IPA. It's nice and cold. Hoppy and refreshing for uh, for the desert. It's perfect for an 85 degree day. It's a nice day out here. Yeah, it is a nice day. Okay. Cheers, guys. If you're finding value out of this video, please give it a like. And also hit that subscribe button. I got plenty of content to come around Arizona, Las Vegas, San Diego, maybe even Los Angeles. Let's go. He's a Jacationer. Yes, I am. <laughs> Can't wait for any video drop. And stay tuned for the burgers because uh, Pia got something good and so did Clark. And then I got the Weekender, which you'll see in a little bit. We're starting off with their calamari, their fried calamari. Obviously got to drizzle some of the lemon on it. And it comes with the marinara sauce. It's got some cheese on it, on top of it. Oh yeah. It's not that rough chewiness. It's chewy, but it breaks apart. So you're able to digest it quickly. Hot, it's piping hot, but the marinara sauce is definitely what makes this calamari, for sure. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Clark? I love it for the same reasons you just described. I definitely think the marinara sauce is what makes it, right? But even the way they cooked it, like it's, it's not that crispy to the point where it's an unpleasant experience. When you bite it, it breaks apart. So good. Yeah, it's really good, man. Yeah. Tasty. Let's ask the viewers, is it marinara or? Marinara. Comment below, how do you guys say it? I say marinara. I say marinara. <laughs> guys, that's Pia, say hi Pia. And Are. What's up, let's chow. Also, the calamari serving, it's enough for three to four people. They do give you really nice servings. They're not stingy about it here. Yeah, great quantity. Yeah, really great quantity. And another thing that I noticed about at the time we're filming, um, San Diego and California is just starting to open up indoor dining, but over here they're at a higher capacity, so there's people indoors. We got a nice spot out here in the patio. Yeah. All right, Jaycationers, they serve your food quickly here. We literally just ordered it less than 10 minutes ago, and they already brought our burgers. Now, I got the Weekender, which is their corned beef burger in honor of St. Patrick's Day. So I got that, I got their normal fries. Clark over here got the Philly cheesesteak, so he's gonna try out the Philly cheesesteak. And then Pia just got the cheeseburger. The plain cheeseburger here is fine. And some people just, you know, you can't have too much of a themed burger, right, Pia? So yeah, she got the cheeseburger. Pia got the burger. <laughs> We're gonna try out this corned beef burger and I'm Filipino and y'all know we love that we love that corned beef. I usually start off with the fries and then I work my way to the burger. And the pickle, there's a pickle here on the side. Jaycation don't eat pickles. So I'm probably gonna give it away to somebody. You don't eat pickles either? No. Please throw it here because I do. Alright. I love pickles. Yeah, throw well, it here. Clark, there you go. Yeah, thank you. The pickle master right here. <laughs> I'm obsessed with pickles. Yeah, and it's not like I won't eat pickles. Like I'll eat like small portions of it, but 
I'm just not a pickle person, so. I like their fries. They're this thicker. You actually have to seasoned eat nicely. The pork in there, nice. This is called no, no, no. the Irish Pounder. It's a five ounce relapsed burger grilled to order, topped with Swiss cheese, a pile of sliced corned beef, house made sauerkraut, and a special awesome sauce served on a toasted onion roll. Find yourself at rehab. Oh, this is amazing. And they're serving it only for two days, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to try it out. Also, follow them on Instagram, Rehab Burger Therapy, and they'll tell you what their weekender special is that day. Yeah, this needed to be tacos with the pork. Yeah. Oh, am I? Hi. How's your burger, Adi? This is pretty delicious. So, very tender, very juicy. And they cook the Philly cheesesteak in it just right. So and it's they like, put a patty too, a yeah. burger patty? So it's a Philly cheesesteak uh, meat mixed with the patty. It's just, ugh. You can't beat this kind of combo. This is so good. But only, beware, only eat this if you're hungry. We just came from a um, spring training game where we were under the sun for almost three hours. The perfect way to build up your appetite. Mm. <laughs> All right guys, so I usually finish the fries but they're so thick and juicy. That's what she said. <laughs> they're so thick. Oh, I, I've even too late on that. They're so thick that I couldn't finish it, so I'll probably finish it for later. And then I cut the corned beef. I cut the Dubliner in half. We're gonna take our first bite off of this. Mmm. Corned beef is on point. This thing's on point. You can taste the sauerkraut subtly, it's not like overpowering. And then you also got a little patty in the inside. Oh, patty with the corned beef. And then whatever this secret sauce is that they have on here, this chipotle type sauce, it is on point, guys. Mmm. Wow. No need for hot sauce. Just taste the flavors. Because it's like a flavor explosion here. So, happy St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day was on Wednesday. That's why they commemorated it with this special burger. Also, the corned beef, it's really tender. Like, it melts in your mouth tender. So, good job, Rehab Burger Therapy. Two thumbs up. One final critique of this is that the onion roll, amazing. Great bread. So that, that really makes it. And Odding said that the most popular burger here is the peanut butter. The PB&J burger. PB&J yep. burger. And he tried it last time. How was yeah. it? Oh, it's pretty good. Like if you're into that mix of like sweet and savory, that's the kind of burger for you. Oh yeah. All right, vacationers, I could only eat half of the burger. So we're going to take this back to the Airbnb and finish it up for a late night snack. All right, guys. So we just finished dinner. But we're gonna try to get some ice cream. Yep, let's do it. But we're gonna walk through this trash giants bar first because they play spring training here yeah. in uh, Scottsdale. So we get it, we understand. Adding <laughs> <laughs> with his walker through his jersey, walking by a giant's flag. <laughs> So we're walking around Old Town Scottsdale. I noticed a lot of golf carts. There's a lot of those uh, multi-bike carts where people have like those pedal parties where you can drink. <laughs> and there's a lot of ice cream spots. So we're looking for some ice cream right now. There's a Grimaldi's, a New York based Grimaldi's here. So Sugar Bowl has been here since 1958. Me, Clark and Pia are craving some just basic ice cream. So we're gonna go inside and try some out. All right guys, we're here at Sugar Bowl Scottsdale. We're just picking up some basic scoops, but this looks like a really popular spot. You can sit down and eat some old school ice cream parlor. But we're gonna just get cookies and cream, me and Clark. And then, what did you get Pia? She got vanilla. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna get eat cones and walk around Old Town Scottsdale. Thanks to you. Thank you. Right. Salamat. Still 79 degrees around like 7 o'clock at night. Gotta have that cookies and cream after rehab burger therapy, so cheers. Classic cookies and cream, gotta love it. Just walking around, I just saw this hula modern tiki bar. It looks like it's cracking. Patties which is like an Irish pub. There's a lot of people out and about tonight on a Saturday here in Scottsdale. So Clark told me this place called Baseballism has a lot of great stuff. So let's go ahead and check it out. For those of you guys that don't know, I am a lefty. 
So this shirt's pretty sick. So that was Rehab Burger Therapy here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Shout out to the NAEB guy for suggesting such a great spot. Best burger in Scottsdale? Comment below, let me know. I actually was really impressed by this uh, Dubliner burger, the corned beef burger, so I really liked it. This was Clark's second time and Clark liked it yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, I had a great time here. The, I know the, when I came here five years ago, I was asking locals, what is the best burger in Phoenix? And they all said rehab. So happy to be back here a second time five years later. Yeah, and, and the tab was 62 bucks for all three of us. Yeah, not bad at all. And that included oh, yeah. appetizers, the calamari. Yeah. And I had this little beer too. But now yeah. we're gonna grab some ice cream and then we're gonna call it a night because it's been a long day. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It helps distribute it throughout YouTube. If you're just discovering me, I do a ton of food and travel videos around San Diego, around the world, places like Arizona, places like Vegas coming up. So check it out. I have a Facebook group called It's Always Sunny in San Diego. If you wanna check out news and recommendations around San Diego, check out my Patreon if you wanna support me and help fund places like rehab burger therapy and do reviews. We'll see you guys in the next video. And in the words of me, stay traveling, JKationers. Uh -huh.